Okay, I'm back. Yeah, looking over the fair lane here again. Uh, I got the elk cow ball. It's uh, in the morning, so this is kind of how she's going to look when she's all done, got the morning dew on it. It's cold out here, <laughs> so the dew is extremely heavy right now. But you can kind of get an idea there how it's going to look when it's clear coated. But the reason I'm out here too, my elk mount video that I was how to hot rod an elk. Well, I lost that footage, <laughs> the final on it. So couldn't get the final footage. I went back over to reshoot it. It disappeared. I don't know. I don't know what happened. It was my fault or something I did or didn't do. But I went back over to reshoot it and well they had already picked it up and they're gone. They're happy with it, so and they paid us. And what did I do with that money? Well this harkens back to my other video on uh how to start your own shop uh very good friend of mine he's got a shop up in the up in the city here uh he lost his shop uh, around here commercial prices are going through the roof and landlords are getting whatever they want to get for whatever they can whatever they have Anyway, his landlord doubled his rent. They wanted he wanted two years paid in advance and no negotiation, no nothing, because he already had two other businesses vying for the same spot. I don't blame the landlord because if he can get it, you know, he's gonna get it. So he had to move his shop. And he has a he had a couple of lifts. He had a pretty good sized shop. He builds hot rods too. He does a pretty good job. And uh, well, he called me up and he had a big asymmetrical uh, ten thousand pound lift, two post car lift. You know, it's too big for him to take back to his house. His other little ones he could get back to his he's got a little shop by his house too he could get that in there but the big one he couldn't have no space for so what did I do with that elk money there it is I had to run up and grab it quick because like I said he sold it to me for a song that I didn't even have to dance for uh, it is an older lift a uh, couple of things I'll have to upgrade I'll do something different with these feet. Put a the rubber pad with the channels on here so it'll lock more secure on the car. Uh, it's the screw style. Don't really care for that much, but you can change the arms on them. Uh, it's a full 12 foot. Uh, 12 foot six is what this lifts to. Plenty big enough for anything I need. And it is asymmetrical. Uh, I passed over a lot of straightforward lifts. Uh, the difference is, is these, the way they mount, you can kind of see it there a little bit. <clears throat> They're kind of angled. So when you got a car on the lift, you can open the door. Uh, sometimes they're called a weight forward lift. You know, the general thing is, you can open the door with these on but there's a hidden one on them <clears throat> and it's the reason i held off for so long to get a asymmetrical with an asymmetrical you can position the car and you see it in my dad's because his is asymmetrical you can position them pads under here to lift a car off a body or 
cab off of a, you know, makes it very much easier to do that. They're, they're more versatile in how you, you know, in what you can do with them. You can put a car on backwards. You can back it in. Uh, again, like the 39 we got up at the shop there and lift them up. Uh, it's, it's on there that way so we can lift the body off the frame, put it back on, make adjustments. Uh, you can back a whole trailer back there and use the lift arms to lift heavy stuff off. I mean, there's a thousand and one things you can do with an asymmetrical uh, two post lift. But I just got it, got it here. <laughs> Like I said, I had to haul Bud up there because he has to be out of that place. And that's why he sold it to me for what he sold it to me for. Now, I got to go get the backhoe. I got it up to my dad's. And you can see those white lines there. Yep, my camera's still broke. <laughs> A brand new one. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty brutal on these poor things. <laughs> That's why I use these cheap ones, because I keep breaking them. There's no way I'd have an iPhone or something like that. Uh, I'm still moving stuff out of the garage. Uh, and get ready to go back into here and get into busy. I got to get all that stuff pulled out. I got to get all my motors, mostly Fords, <laughs> out of that bread box back there you seen next to the fairling. I got to take all that stuff, put it back there, open that all up, and restore all my motors and stuff back in that corner over there. That's where I'm going to build my clean room. I'm actually going to build an actual clean room back there uh, for, so I can wheel a motor in there and I can still grind and weld and everything out here but I'm going to set that lift center it back in there right somewhere in there kind of parallel with that truss and wherever that sets then I can build my uh, and I'm putting a loft up there for further storage, uh, hopefully of shop stuff, not Christmas decorations and everything else back there. But that's where I'm at. Um, like I said, that elk video, I'm sorry about that. Uh, the next ones, the artist is sending uh, another form, uh, you know, for their other ones to complete that diagramma, diorama, diagramma, diagramma. <laughs> and uh, when that, when they get it, they'll cut it, they'll move it, they'll shape it so into the position they need it to, and then we'll go back and put the skeleton frame into it to sturdy that all up. I'll try to get more footage on that one. Uh, and hopefully this camera work isn't all wiggly jiggly. So I turned a hot rotted elk into a lift that's gonna go right there. So in the meantime, <laughs> oh, another oddity. I ran over to Harbor Freight to grab me two more of these. Uh, engine stands because I got to put that one on the engine stand get it ready so I can swap everything over to this one this is for that Jeep uh, I got the new Speedway universal motor mounts that I'll weld these in uh, quick review on these Speedway does a good job these are extremely well done I'm very very pleased with their universal kit look how thick that is and it's all very nice, very nice. Uh, they do a good job. Uh, 
see if it'll focus on that. That's the part number I got for it. And for some reason, this thing does cause uh, reproductive harm. So uh, I don't know what you folks in California are mounting these to, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess you got to read the instructions because if this causes reproductive harm, they are doing something wrong. <laughs> these go here. <laughs> Don't put your underwear, anything of your underwear around here when you're uh, installing these because they will cause reproductive harm. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to spend the day pulling this entire nasty mess out of here and getting it ready for the lift. Uh, I just got to go up to the shop and grab my backhoe so I can move all of those cars out of the way and starting to get this place ready to actually make it into a shop. In the meantime, keep that metal hot. Even if you got to do it in weird ways, you can turn an elk into a lift. It just takes some work. So yeah, keep that metal hot. We'll catch you later.